Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but helped me just the same. some new stuff. Seems like you might need the help. So sinking deeper, until gathered up. Five Five An acolyte of Odin's, very secretive, trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. 
Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until we meet again. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. How can I help? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Drop near, you need. You were saying. Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. you little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. 
Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. Come with us, dear. I know you mean mm. well. I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but... I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? If I don't have it, you don't need it. You ready to go? See you out there. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursioning you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. But Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. There. 
we keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. His fault Atreus ran off with him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. something.
These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Stone. We can use that. It's open. Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. We've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? <laughs> I'll wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked, shall we?
This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now where have they got the third one hidden away? by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Yes. 
I didn't mean she was tall at the house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see. Nothing in the world. <laughs> There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. <laughs> Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Ugh! <laughs> 
trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. Think about that. <laughs> When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the forge. Sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Take out that nest or it'll be eyeball city out here. You want some of that? Then come get a taste. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, oh, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy tail sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. Hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm right here. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you can start by burning off this crutch. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift. Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Aye, aye. Again.
got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. <laughs> ah, promising. <laughs> Got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Get those cables. 